Hello, hello. Happy Thursday, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us here today virtually for our last, but certainly not least, Impact Series event of the year. Uh, my name is Angela Hollowell. I am a creative producer with the East Coast Greenway Alliance, and I will be your host during this lunchtime chat uh, with Dennis Marcato Soriano, who is the executive director of the East Coast Greenway Alliance. I'll be introducing him shortly, but for people who are coming back, welcome. For people who is your first time tuning in with us, welcome again. Uh, the Impact Series is our time at the end of the year to really just celebrate and reflect on all the incredible development that's happening along the East Coast Greenway. And Dennis will be here to join us to talk about the state of the Greenway overall. Dennis, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, thank Angela. You. Good afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon. Uh, so before we jump into a barrage of questions that I'm sure everybody in the audience has, we're going to play a video, which is kind of a PSA, to let people know everything they need to know about the Greenway. Well, not quite everything, but to give them kind of an introduction to the East Coast Greenway, and then we'll jump right into some questions. How does that sound? Excellent. All right. I'll see you back here in a couple minutes. Since the East Coast Greenway Alliance is founding in 1991, our advocacy efforts have led to the continued expansion of the East Coast Greenway through cities, towns, and rural communities along the East Coast. We're working to complete this 3,000-mile continuous protected path stretching from Maine to Florida, from the pine trees to the palm trees. The East Coast Greenway gets people moving for equitable, active transportation and recreation. It connects us to the natural world, encourages sustainable economic development, and provides an accessible community gathering space for all. Working alongside state and local partners, our team has secured more than $2 billion in public investment and developed more than 1,000 miles of the route. And we're just getting started. Alrighty, so that was kind of our PSA about the Greenway and its uh, 30 plus year history. Dennis, you've been with the Greenway for a long time. After watching that video, how does that make you feel? What are some of the feelings that come to you after hearing that? Absolutely. You know, uh, first I want to thank Mary Page McLaurin, who is on our communications team, put together that outstanding video. Um, it really makes me proud in so many ways. One, that we're part of such a vision, such an organization that we're committed to developing this equitable public space for everyone to enjoy, you know, building community, tackling the climate crisis, improving public health. Our founders, including Director Karen Votava, who is our executive director before me, and our current advisory board chair, Pat King, set this project in motion. And so I'm, excited, I'm so excited when I see videos like that that show that their dream has become an emerging reality. You know, we thanks to staff and volunteers, partners, supporters, allies, elected leaders who act in a visionary way with their staff, we're really building a better future. And the, the Greenway has now become the most visited park in America with 50 million bike rides, runs and walks. So when I see a video like that and I see those beautiful segments, you know, from down in Florida up to Maine and everything in between, it just gives me great joy to think that I'm, I'm working on that. And, and yeah, I have been here for a while. It's been 13 years now. And when I started, there were about 500 miles, a beautiful greenway. We had four full-time staff doing our best to cover the 15 states. And now it's such a pleasure to see that we have a team of 16, that we have over 1,000 miles of completed off-road greenway. And, you know, having that increased staff, we can accelerate the planning and the design and the construction and we can host amazing people who are enjoying the East Coast Greenway, whether it's for an afternoon walk or it's the kind of runners and bicyclists and even unicyclists that are experiencing thousands of miles of our beautiful region. 
Nice. So you mentioned our field staff. And speaking of which, we've heard from all of our field staff so far in this impact series. So I would love to hear from you. What do you think have been some of the key developments and highlights um, from this year, from your perspective? Yeah, I mean, it's it's wonderful that you're putting together such a great impact series that goes into detail and sees the hard work that our field staff do. Sometimes hard work leads to a tenth of a mile. And that sounds small because we're 3,000 miles of a vision, but every tenth of a mile is so critical. And sometimes that's the kind of gap that then unleashes 20 miles of an amazing experience of getting to know a community, the culture, the food, the nature, the history. And so it's really exciting to see the impact series throughout and to see all those little bits and pieces that are coming together and making a large system come to reality. But in terms of the major highlights, when I look big picture, I want to focus on three things that are actually records that we've achieved this year. It's in infrastructure investment, donations to the organization, and media attention. So our team is really making the most of our historic infrastructure moment as their advocacy reaped actually $200 million this year. And that includes records in the US DOT RAISE program, which is a critical discretionary program through the Department of Transportation, along with about 11 million in earmarks, congressional earmarks that are moving the East Coast Greenway forward. So it's fantastic to see that. And big kudos to every staff member who is critical in making that happen. You know, on the development side and the fundraising side, this effort really was made possible by a record of more than two and a half million dollars for our organization, our nonprofit, who is benefiting from the generosity of amazing donors and foundations, companies and, and other supporters throughout the corridor and beyond. And it's been wonderful to see that. And what do we do with those funds? We continue to leverage those funds, turning every dollar into $100 in infrastructure investment. A huge thank you I want to give to all the generous people who are putting their hard-earned dollars to work by donating to the East Coast Greenway, keeping us bold and visionary. A couple of key foundations include the William Penn Foundation of Philadelphia, the JPB Foundation of New York, to all sorts of great members who are giving every year. Maybe it's a small amount, but every dollar counts. There's one really inspiring story. Someone, a woman up in Massachusetts has been giving regularly every year. And then this year, they had more than they needed in their retirement account. What did they do with that? They donated more than they've ever donated and really helped us continue to be strong. As we look into the economic fog of 2023, we don't know what exactly is going to happen. But what we do know is that we're strong as an organization, thanks to the supporters that we have. So generous. And so when you mix those two things together, you have great staff, you have great investment, and it builds the East Coast Greenway, and it moves it forward. You see record media attention. It's been amazing to see that. And it's also thanks to great storytellers like you, Angela, Mary Page, and John, our communications director, who are telling the 3,000 miles of stories in such a great way. And they're really unearthing some of the incredible stories. I mean, these spectacular adventures that are now going on on the East Coast Greenway, our first ever runner, and others that we'll talk about more but just incredible to see people enjoying the Greenway, bringing it to life, and then being the kinds of stories that can capture the attention of people throughout our corridor and beyond. So the East Coast Greenway becomes a household name. It's amazing. Yeah, so speaking of media attention, I'm glad you kind of ended on that note because we have a comment from YouTube 
SRO2 saying nice publicity this week with the unicyclist riding the greenway. I think this is also our first known unicyclist doing a complete ride of the greenway. That's right. Yeah. Incredible. Yes. And I had the pleasure of biking with Avery and uh, he's a great young man. And um, he's, you know, has a break in his life where he can do something special. And he's doing that right now. He jumped on his unicycle and is been coming down from Maine, where he where he's from, where he lives, and got to ride with him here in North Carolina. And now he's in South Carolina. So um, we've seen incredible media attention from CNN to CBS um, and great newspapers in between. So that's the kind of story that people want to hear. And so there, people like Avery are becoming great storytellers, along with everyone on our staff and our regular volunteers and long term dedicated people, we have these new voices that are helping to share the dream of the East Coast Greenway with the world. We have another comment from LinkedIn. Uh, this one is from Ron and Anzavino. Uh, another great benefit is safety on the trail. So I think this may have been around the time when you're talking about, you know, the tenths of a mile, but that tenths of a mile can really provide a critical uh, fill a critical gap between a 20 mile long trail ride. It makes it a lot safer and easier for people to bike, walk and ride for longer distances. Uh, so thank you so much for that, Ron. Uh, did you yeah. have anything more you wanted to, to add to that, Dennis? Absolutely. And I want to you know share that as we have more and more adventurers who are out there enjoying the Greenway, we love it and we want them to have a safe experience. And we don't want to overstate what we've completed. We've completed 1,070 beautiful off-road miles, but we've connected those with the safest roads that we could find. That doesn't mean all of those roads are perfect. Um, and there are several that you wanna be very vigilant. You wanna really look around, maybe have your mirror and work with your family and your friends and really plan out that trip that's right for you. Whatever kind of experience you want, you don't need to do all 3,000 miles you can do the completed miles. So just think through that. Go to map.greenway.org and think about what's the best experience for you because it's a work in progress. We're going to make it safe, but it's not quite there for children and great grandparents. We will get there together, but plan that trip out because we want everyone to have a safe and great time. Absolutely. Uh, we have another comment from Facebook. This one is from Deborah West. First ever through run slash marriage proposal. Um, as you speak about safety and um, just kind of the state of some of the roads that the Greenway is connecting to, um, this reminded me of the time that Shan, I believe he was crossing a bridge in mm -hmm. Pennsylvania and he had to get a police escort. Um, That's right. In Maryland. That's right. Oh, in Maryland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was over the Susquehanna River, and it's a really critical crossing. It's, it's a big challenge. And those are the kinds of big challenges that our staff takes on. Sometimes it's a small little section. Sometimes it's a gigantic river, hundreds of feet in the air where we need a big bridge. So we've got all kinds of mix, you know, in terms of working on that. But Shan and his now wife actually experienced the whole Greenway. He was the first ever runner of the Greenway. It's a mind-blowing sort of event. He, for 76, 78 days, he went all the way from Key West to Canada and averaged 40 miles of running every day. It's a really incredible. And his now wife, Josh, actually was biking along and also in an incredible way, she was working at the same time, getting amazing work done while having this experience. He gets on one knee right at the end and proposes, and now they're married. And if they could get through the East Coast Greenway, I, I'm pretty confident they're going to have a wonderful wild ride these next several decades. So kudos to them. They're actually also the first couple to have uh, matching East Coast Greenway tattoos on their calves. Um, that's how you share a story. That's how we get record publicity and media attention. The amazing stories of all the adventurers from Avery, the unicyclist, to Shan and Josh, the amazing runners and, and cyclists experiencing the Greenway. Right. Uh, so 
as continuing on the thread of through riders and planning trips, we have another question from SRO2 saying, is there a social platform where ECG supporters gather and plan trips? I do believe we have a Facebook group uh, for Explorers of the Greenaway, if you wanted to join that and um, ask questions, um, share some things uh, about your experience that may be helpful to others, things like that. Um, I think they have a follow-up quote here saying, would love to build a community of hosts and travelers similar to bike centennial and adventure cycling pre-internet. <laughs> nice. That's exactly right. That's really key. Um, and we are developing that kind of community. Now that we have around 100, over 100 people who have experienced the East Coast Greenway, we want you all to learn from each other. And really, don't just take our word for it as promoters and staff people, but also check in with others. And one great story is I wanted to share our, one of our newest trustees who's starting in January is Regina Yan. And she biked the whole East Coast Greenway. So she's coming in with this great knowledge from her experience. And she's a great storyteller. She did a YouTube video about her experience called Not So Scary After All, Biking the East Coast Greenway. It's gotten over 60,000 views. And she can give people advice, as well as everyone else who's experienced sections of the Greenway. We have an amazing team of volunteers and staff ready to help you have the best experience you can have. Absolutely. Um, so kind of, I guess, looking forward into uh, 2023, uh, what are your goals for the Greenway? Mm. It's pretty exciting. I mean, we've had such a great year this year. What's next? You know, I really want us to build on the momentum that we've created. And I think we have the team to do it. And we also have this historic moment. We're in the middle of a once in a generation infrastructure moment. And I'd like to see us make the most of it. I'm hearing from time to time about too many multi-billion dollar investments in highways. I wanna see a $3 billion investment to complete the East Coast Greenway. that serves over a hundred million Americans, a path to sustainability, to a healthy and equitable future, you know, Secretary Buttigieg, if you're listening, and your team, let's work together. Let's get it done. There's nothing more visionary than what we have in terms of infrastructure. And so that's what we want to do on staff and with our volunteers and leaders. We want to make the most of this bipartisan infrastructure law that we have four years more of greater resources in terms of investment in infrastructure than ever. That's really our best chance to get the Greenway done. So we want to inspire President Biden, Secretary Pete Buttigieg of DOT, and others that completing the East Coast Greenway is indeed a national priority. And I'm excited to see what comes of that, because as we complete it, as we develop this, we're going to have over 150 million bike rides, runs, and walks every year. It's really going to transform the way people move in our 450 communities. So just want to build our momentum and get us on that path toward completion in 2023. Awesome. Awesome. I couldn't agree more. Secretary Pete, if you're out there, if you're watching the replay, you know, we, we definitely would love to talk to you about how we can make this dream a reality. So, mm -hmm. um, um, so speaking of, uh, just traveling along the Greenway and a lot of the communities that are along the Greenway. Um, you've been fortunate to travel along the Greenway for different speaking engagements and ribbon cuttings and events yeah. along the Greenway. Is there a common theme that you hear from folks uh, when you're sharing about the Greenway and when they're sharing their experience with you? Yeah, it's it's been really nice. And, you know, one of the elements, so, so one example, I was at the World Trails Conference in lovely Greece, and gave a talk there with others from all over the world. And then recently I was at the Highline Network Symposium down in Miami, right on our route. Um, and, and of course I was at a ribbon cutting in Miami Beach where the city of Miami Beach became uh, one of the first cities to complete all of their stretch of the East Coast Greenway. So we really wanted to celebrate that major accomplishment. And 
when I'm out there and, and speaking and getting to know all these great people or partners who are getting it done on the ground, I've really seen this growing sense of confidence and the growing sense that now really is our moment. They, we've all witnessed how essential greenways and trails have been as critical sanctuaries of sanity, you know, and havens of health during the pandemic. And now, like I mentioned earlier, we have the resource potential. We have an infrastructure law that we can tap to complete our systems from sea to shining sea, from Calais, Maine to Key West, Florida. And I'm just so excited to partner with everyone and, and get it done, make new partnerships, build on old partnerships, and really make the most of this moment together. Awesome, awesome. We have one last comment that I think would be great to end on. This one is again from SRO2. Uh, they say the East Coast Greenway is a tangible example of putting climate, sustainability, and transportation, transportation policy into action. And uh, mm -hmm. we couldn't agree more. Thank you so much for joining us and firing off some awesome questions and comments there. Uh, as we wrap up, uh, this is the last impact series of the year. Um, and we want to close out in a big way. Uh, we have currently have a match going on right now, a $10,000 match. And we're over halfway to our goal. If you would love to help us meet that goal, support the Greenway, and continue to support trails and Greenway development along the East Coast, we would really appreciate your donation uh, in support of that match goal to help us reach that. Uh, if you've already donated and would like to uh, rock some Greenway merch while on your ride, we would love to see that happen as well. Uh, I'm currently wearing a beanie, which is on stock in our, in our shop right now. Dennis is also rocking a, a, some Greenway merch. Uh, so be sure to head over to our shop, get some Greenway merch, support the Greenway, and stop, be styling and profiling on your ride. We support yeah. all of that. We support That's it all. Right. That's right. Uh, uh, yes. Oh, one quick comment before we close out here. Uh, Philip Riggin, who is our Virginia committee chair, he says, critical sanctuaries of sanity. Every time I go for a bike ride to clear my head, I call them sanity rides. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. There's a lot coming at us, you know, in these phones and, and everything else. And the more we can have time with nature and with each other and really build community, mm -hmm. it's miles of smiles. It's it's a good time and we all need it. So yeah. let's make it accessible to everyone. Yes. And happy holidays to everyone. Thank you so much, Angela. And thank you to everyone who's supporting the East Coast Greenway. Yes. And speaking of holidays, if you're ordering merch and you would like to get it in, time for the holidays. In order for us to ship it out and get it to you in time, please be sure to order by tomorrow at noon. That is Friday, December 16th at noon. Uh, if you're going to order merch and would like to get it in time for the holidays, either as a gift for yourself or a gift for someone else. So thank you guys so, so much. And uh, we appreciate you supporting us throughout the year, every day of the year, but especially taking the time to join us for this impact series and to learn more about the Greenway and how you can be involved now and in the year years to come. Thank you guys so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you.